two five gallon propane tanks. This is a new deal. They put this uh, for the, the seven pin to hold it there. I got the, uh, the crank. I didn't get the uh, electric option. There's your chains. Hook up to your tow vehicle. Activate the brakes and lock her down. That's my lock. It came with it. It came with the uh, cassette. The side bubble leveler. It's a standard now. Digital lock. A little guard right there. They put on it at the factory to keep some this one at the door. But now this is standard. There's my tow vehicle. This is standard. This pull handle is standard. I got one step. The fridge, the Dometic in here. That's for the vent system. Keep from overheating. That's the outside 110. I just got the uh, regular white rims. It's got an outside light here. Switch up under it. This is for your uh, exhaust fan. Two little clips right here. You clip out. That way the, the air will come out. Then you always have to remember when you get ready to go. Uh, close it back up. My EC doesn't bother me that much. I, uh, I guess maybe I can't hear that good <laughs> There's the Max Air Fan. Great invention. The, uh, the screw jacks attached. They come standard. Here's a little storage compartment. There's the 16 gallon fresh water, drinkable water. Need a little storage area in there. They got these little latches you can put up. But this, I guess, when it starts getting older, it'll flop down. But they got little latches you can put up here and attach here. I'll be getting those and uh. It's LED lights. Those are optional. I had those add. That was my add-on. The fresh water fill spare tire. Here's the battery compartment. Here's the hot water heater. Propane. Propane and electric. There's the power cord, 30 amp. Always put in a surge protector on here between here when you plug it into the uh, power at the campground RV park or whatever I had this added on it's a solar port it's wired for a ZAMP but you can use anything you just have to get the uh, the SAE uh, two wire uh, connector and uh, you just have to splice and reverse the wires to make it work, but you can use anything you want, Renin G or anything. Hmm, that nine and three quart. Well, let me say the strap right here. Okay, nine and a half inches to that strap right there. Or nine, nine and a quarter. Here's your gray water handle. <laughs> Get it in the picture. Gray water handle. Pull out, it'll drain. Push in to close it. That's your cap you take off. You put your, uh, to your uh, adapter that goes on here and it connects to your, your uh, black water hose that's in the uh, bumper. Then you run it to they have a little space there at where we uh, camp out, RV park, Corbin engineers, any place. If they have full hookups, that's the black water side. That's the city water connection. You got some privacy with the uh, bathroom. It's just, you know, I don't know what they call it. But it's not clear like that. The bathroom is nice and roomy, even for me. I'm six foot, about a, no canopy. I didn't want it. It was like an extra thousand bucks or a little bit more. I just don't see the need for it for me. That's just me. I think we went over it all pretty good. This is my first RV I've ever had. 
But I, re I really love this fiberglass Casita 2020 Freedom Deluxe.